Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we've got another optic to review. So this time it's going on one of my bolt guns and you see this big old box right here from the folks over at uh, Discovery OPT. They uh, sent this out to me for a review. So I've got the perfect, uh, perfect platform in mind for it. And uh, you might not think it makes sense, but we're gonna talk about it and uh, let's dive into this thing. All right, so as you can see, this is a big old box. So obviously we got a big old optic. So this is the Discovery OPT LHD NV 4 to 16 by 44 optic. Now, this thing, she big. All right, so it is a traditional rifle scope. I know you're not used to seeing that uh, on the channel here, but I do, I do enjoy traditional rifle scopes on uh, hunting applications. So that's why I said, this is going to go on a bolt gun. So here's what you get in the box. You get the optic itself. Get your product manual. You know, all the standard stuff. Uh, spec sheet. So, hey, hey, a cheat sheet. I get, to, I get to use a cheat sheet and act like I know what I'm talking about. Uh, you get a cleaning cloth. Yeah, somebody inspected it. And <laughs> get a uh, little sun cover there. And then what we got here? These are the mounts that come with it. So it does come with mounts, which is always a plus. All right, so let's use this uh, cheat sheet since it came with it. All right, so we got the uh, four by 16 magnification. So it doesn't go less than a uh, four by. It's a first focal plane. And there is your field of view. Your eye relief is three and a half inches, quarter uh, inch MOA, click value, 90 MOA total adjustment. And then we have the uh, 30 millimeter tube diameter. This thing's 13.9 inches long, 27 ounces, uh, 26.7 if you want to uh, be specific and precise. Shock proof, fog proof, waterproof, all that good stuff. I'm not really worried about shock because uh, I'll let you know what this thing's going on in a minute. All right, so uh, that's, that's the optic. Let's go ahead and get this thing mounted up. You know I can't show it on YouTube. I know it's weird. So I'm gonna get this thing mounted onto a rifle and then we're gonna we're gonna talk about it. So let's go. All right, guys, so there's that Discovery OPT 4 to 16 by 44 rifle scope mounted up on this old Savage Mark II 22 long rifle bolt gun. We're gonna get this thing dialed in. So I did have a uh, a rifle scope on this thing. Um, I actually had an LPVO. Um, so not really a traditional rifle scope, but you know, a rifle scope nonetheless. And uh, I just really wanted a little bit more precision out of this thing. I feel like you could do a lot better. And obviously with this thing uh, being able to zoom all the way to 16, we can get pretty precise by simply being able to see the target. LPVO is great for, you know, just quick stuff, but something like this is what you really need to get, you know, really dialed in nice and close to be able to pull that target into your, uh, to your, your vision so let's go ahead get this thing to the range and uh dial her on in all right all you cool cats and kittens so we've got the discovery opt lhd nv 4 to 16 by 44 optic out here today that was a mouthful so i've got one target at 36 yards uh, which is going to be my zero and then i've got another target at right around the 100 yard marker, which I can confirm right meow. So let me, uh, let me see it here. Oh Lord. So it's actually 135 yards out. So uh, I, I should move that in a little bit. Yeah, it's 135 yards out. Um, I thought I walked a little far, but you can never tell. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and knock out my 36 yard zero. Forgot my eye pro. I'm not going to wear ear pro because it's just a uh, 22 long rifle. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the 36 yard zero. So this is a four to 16. Um, I'm going to zero it at a median of eight. And then uh, we'll see what it hits at 16 uh, zoom. And we'll go from there. The 16 is what I'm going to use for that 100 to 130 yard uh, the target. 
because uh, I want to really bring that target in and be able to see what I'm doing. We're trying to get this to be a precision 22. Now, in my infinite wisdom, I left my uh, magazine at home, but luckily it's a bolt gun, so uh, I don't need it. I'm just going to load a round at a time, do what I got to do, and uh, we're going to make this thing happen. So, all right, go ahead and get myself lined up here. Oh, this glass is clear. So this glass is clear as day. Like, it's pretty nice. All right, so eye relief is pretty good. You can see I don't have to be like so far on it. So I, I believe the paperwork said that the eye relief was three and a half inches. So yeah, that's about about right, three and a half, four inches. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to dial this thing in. Again, I'm at eight power and uh, everything is zeroed out. Let's get it, dude. So 36 yards from my uh, table to the target. So <laughs> interestingly enough, I was aiming for this target um, for my first initial zero, and I hit right dead center of the target below it. So then I just had to keep walking it up. And, you know, the first few times I didn't learn my lesson that it's only a quarter uh, MOA value for every click. So you got to crank that that soldier boy until you get you know where you want to be in my case uh what about 12 14 inches or so to this target um so in, anyway i ended up getting to right about here then i jumped up to here because i was like man fuck this <laughs> um and then i got kind of dancing around it and then i was able to dial it into where i was able to get into the x here which is a very small x by the way this is my pinky so yeah all right, so anyway, then I moved to this target, and here were my three rounds, so very good. Um, I will take that all day. And then I changed the power from 8 to 16, and no change of impact, just brought the target closer in. So that's what you'll have to expect there when you increase that magnification at 36 yards. All right, so now I am going to go ahead and engage this target down here. It was 136 yards out. I went ahead and moved it to 100, and uh, we'll see what we do. All right, guys, so we were able to take this bitch out. All right, so uh, learn my lesson, and we'll talk about it in a second. All right, so I was hitting really low when I took my first couple of shots, hit the chest, couple below it, whatever. Made a huge adjustment and, you know, hit way above the target. All right, cool. Anyway, got it dialed in, started knocking around on the right side and then dialed it into the center of her. Now this hardworking man here was taking out this assailant who broke into his house. She had a weapon, he was able to disarm her and now has her at gunpoint waiting for the police to arrive. I went ahead, decided to help him out, start taking her out. And you know, I maybe I grazed him a couple of times and he'll he'll be okay though. He's gonna live. She's destroyed. Don't have to worry about her anymore. Just took her whole face out, peppered it, did hit him in the hand. Sorry, buddy. We'll do some reconstructive surgery. But guys, I mean, I don't know what else you want. 115 yards with a 22 with trash ammo. Yeah, grazed his, you know, his hair, hit, hit knocked his lip a little bit, but you know, she, she ain't breathing no more. So I call that a win. Guys, this was a success. All right, guys, so I was able to get it dialed in at the 36 yard zero and then punch it out to 115 and get pretty close. Um, again, just using very cheap round nose ammo. Got it dialed in to where it's very close. Now I can get some better ammo and just dial that in without wasting a bunch of money on that good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, shoot some steel. That's about 37 yards out. Uh, so like I said, once I got it out to 100 yards, I'm able to take these turrets off. Let me just go ahead and show you guys that real quick. So when you set your All right, so once you make your adjustments and you get uh, where you need to be, you can unscrew the tops of this here. And I'll just demonstrate it real quick on camera. So say I went, when I'm 115 yards out, I'm like seven clicks, blah, 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 whatever. So it is sitting about there. Now, 
that's not my true zero at 36 yards, right? So how do I overcome that? Um, once I get my, my 36 yard zero, say this is where I was at. All right, cool. I take this off. I'm able to take this completely off, take it back to zero, push, make sure it's all the way locked back down. And then I'm going to put this cap right back on. All right. So bam, say I did that. My 36 yard zero is good. I am now back at zero. So now if I want to punch out to 100 yards or 115, I know that I needed to go up 7.1 and then left one and a half. Cool. That is my setting right there for 115 yards. Now, if I want to go back to my original 36 yard zero, I know that all you got to do is go right back to zero because I reset it when I took that cap off and put it back to zero. All right, so here we are back at our 36 yard zero at eight power and let's get it. All right, got a round in there. Ring and steel. So it's pretty easy, guys. Really inconvenient that I forgot my mag at home. Idiot. I did like four video reviews today. So remembering all the stuff needed for every single thing is, uh, you're bound to forget something if you don't make a list. You heard it guys. Ding and steal all day. Appreciate uh, Discovery OPT for sending this optic out to me. Really liking it, super clear glass, very fine adjustments. Um, that quarter MOA click value, um, obviously I, I'm used to a, like a little bit higher click value. So once you get that dialed in, just go ahead and don't be afraid to crank her a little bit and then, uh, you'll get dialed in the parallax adjustment. So once I hit 115, that target was super blurry, went ahead and hit this parallax adjustment and set it for uh, about 120 yards, crystal clear, pulled that target in, brought the clarity where it needed to be. And it was awesome. So when I was just moving to this steel target, I dropped it back down to 50, the parallax, super crisp and clear. Awesome, was able to bring that steel in. That's a uh, eight by six inch steel plate, so very small. This uh, 22 was able to bring it in and you heard it ring a ding and uh, did what it needed to do. So again, thanks Discovery OPT for sending this out to the channel. If you guys are looking for a quality yet affordable rifle scope to be able to reach out and see what your uh, what you're shooting at, then uh, I think this is a good option. So thanks guys.